Hi guys, I'm Marky again and welcome back to Revit House. So this is navigation. The second one that you are really need, needed to learn is the enable sectioning. So for that, we have to go to the exterior view because if we toggle that one and we are in the interior, we, have, we will have a difficulty na, uh, controlling the section box. So we have to toggle, we save our exterior view earlier. So we just click the exterior view. So in here, we can just enable the sectioning. This is the one that you ne really need to, to, to ga get the grasp of using in Navisworks. Navigation is very easy. Enable sectioning, got a little trick, but uh, it will be more easier, I think. Yeah, so just click the enable sectioning. So for now, you have the control either the plane or a section box. But I really suggest you use the section box because it, it is controlling the, the four or six core sides of the, the square of the box, so, or eight sides. So, yeah. So, so from here, whoops, I think I did it. Wrongly. I just disable first. Okay. So enable sectioning. Uh, okay. So when you toggle the box, you, you, you can still see your model. So for my case, I cannot see the model. But in any case, I can just use the scale and then point to this circle thing and then scale the box because it's too small. Everyone got it? Because the default size for my case, the, the box is very, very small. That's why the model will seems that the model is disappeared. So when that happens, you, the default one is move you just have to change it to scale and then click the center circle uh, spear button here that will toggle the the adjustment to overall of the to the overall size of the box so you just have to click that one that circle and drag your mouse so it will show the box for our sectioning Got it? Then, if I want to scale it to see the overall length of the station, I can just simply scale, still scale, and then I can just drag this red gizmo. Then it will scale, it will be elongated. Okay? If I want to move it, I can just move it further to the right and then move it to cut the section of the whole station. Then I can just simply inspect from here. I can see the railings, uh, this part here which is the C717 model and our cladding. So the ceiling button and yep, the seats the TWHW location, the PSD area, staircase, and lift. So I can see from here clearly through section box the whole levels from platform to the ground level. Even the section of the beams by C717 I can clearly see and our ceiling. Okay? So when you are, we are in section mode, you can still do measurement. So from the review ribbon, you can just simply use the measure tool. So for example, I want to measure the height of the platform from the ceiling button. So what I can do is I can simply measure, use the point to point measuring tool, and then I will lock it to the Z axis or Z axis. 
So I will lock it to the Z axis so that it will just measure the Z value or the height. So parallel to this blue gizmo. So blue is the Z, Z axis. So I can just click this edge of the button. I just have to see this symbol, the square symbol. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So when I click this one, and then I click the floor, so automatically it will detect the Z value of that ceiling height. So I can just have the three meters here. If you want to leave that dimension there and you want to measure some other dimension, for example, from soffit of the slab to the, to the flooring, to the floor finish, it's 4.27, but you want to have the three meters there you have to convert the dimension into a red line. Creating the, con the dimension to a red line will also create a view that contains that red line. So once I orbit, the, the dimension will be uh, removed because this one is not the this view anymore. So once you have to go back to that red line, I just have to click the view and then it will appear, appear again. If you want to have the both the 3 meters and the 4.27, I just have to dimension again and then I can just simply dimension here and then go to this one and then convert to red line and then, yep, so we have to then I can just simply dimension the other one. Then convert to red line again. So you can see that if you do it concurrently, it will be saved in a certain view only, uh, on a common view. Unlike the one that we did earlier, it has only the one red line only. So you can just delete this one or just click the other one again so you have the two dimension. But this one is 2.99. I think I misclicked some some location. Yeah, it's still three meters. You can also add some text if you need some comments so that it will be saved here. Then you can just screen capture and then uh, uh, send it to the group or to to us to our to the team that who model it. So just to raise question, how, how does it happen or what's happening on that area. Yep. So what else? For the section box, you can also use, so when we go back to sectioning tools. So you can also use the rotate if you want to rotate some, uh, you, if you want to rotate the, sec, the section box, you can just simply rotate it and then scale. You can scale it like that. So it depends on how you want to control your section box. Here, what you're controlling is the section box, not the uh, actual model. So Navisworks is mainly for coordination. It's not really for modeling. So if you want to build something here, you won't be able to do so because it's not allowed to model. It's only allowed to view and coordinate. So it's main main tool for coordination. That's why it's very good for PM like Chinwi, uh, the engineers like Mr. Muti and the main Archi coordinator, which is Mr. Wilson and Eros as well. So it's very good for you guys to to have this navigation tool or the Navisworks tool for you to uh, clearly see the whole model. And it's light. It's not really that heavy for your computer, I think. So how are you guys doing in there? I just have one problem. Mm. My navigator is a, what is called? The full navigation wheel? It's not. The Freedom 2018. Actually, you don't have the great color dimension, is it? Oh, the dimensioning. Yeah. It doesn't have color. The review, 
Yes, correct. Only until the clear finish. Ah, there's it's... no convert to red line, is it? Yeah. Yes, oh, correct. so you were not able to do this. Uh, WC I can do, but... But not like, like this, right? Yes, correct. Ah. Actually, I did. The RGS also we did, but... Mm. It's not, I think we, are, we don't have a full version. I see. So freedom in that case is limited to to just viewing, I think. Just viewing and just checking the measurement. Anyway, if you cannot do this red line, Mr. Wilson, what you can just do is one dimension at a time. So if you want to check the ceiling height, it will be just the ceiling height. Because you can because do using just the blue the blue dimensioning it it only has the uh one dimensioning at a time if you want multiple dimensioning you have to stick on one view and then dimension 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 so whereas if you have only this you can just simply uh use this and then uh use the snipping tool this snipping tool then just snip the view. Then save as a anyway, image. I think yes. that that should be the only workaround for that one. Then yes. or or you can just copy and paste it to WhatsApp and send it directly. You don't need to save. So this tool is also uh, the snipping tool is available in the, all the Windows Explore in the, all the Windows. Uh, version so you just look for snipping tool for the screenshots i think that that's the only thing that we can work around for that but you can still navigate right mr wilson yeah yeah mm, okay then that's Everything good okay nice okay. yeah so for what else? Uh? What else we can do? You never talk about the. Uh, Which one? You never talk about the uh, locking. NYZ. Sorry. NYZ locking. Uh, before dimension. NYC. <laughs> Sorry, <NYC>. Mister. <laughs> locking lock. Locking. Is it lock? Yeah. Ah, this one. Yeah, this is important. Ah, yeah. For for example, when we measure point to point, right? Then, yeah. aside from the z axis, we can always use the x and y axis. This is the horizontal, parallel to this uh, gizmo. So when you see the gizmo, uh, it has this red line and the green line. So that is the x and y axis. So when I uh, I toggle the x axis, then I click the point to point. For example, I don't have a horizontal here. Maybe this service boom, I can, no, it's not uh, parallel horizontally. So when I click here, so Z axis is, oops, because our nope. building is not really parallel to the to the XYZ of Navisworks. This is one problem in Navisworks. It's not rotating according to the 90 degrees of the uh, building. So what we can use in this one, is the perpendicular. So from here, for example, I have this face here. Then I want to dimension the perpendicular to this point. So when I click this, so it will report to me 5 meters perpendicular dimension. Okay? So you can use perpendicular to dimensioning. Use this locking Look, uh, orientation of your uh, building. So in our case, the only thing that is parallel is the Z axis. The X and Y is not really parallel because the building is oriented to the project north or the or the survey point of the the uh, site. So we cannot rotate that building to our X Y Z. This is Navisworks limitation. This is our problem in some of our tenders that has this XY problem. Yep. So what we can use is just simply either parallel or perpendicular or Z axis. 
So, but most of the time, I use the z-axis only and the perpendicular if it's not parallel to the x and y. Because the x and y is no use if we, we are not using the, the same uh, 90 degree angle to the xyz of the gizmo or the xy of the gizmo. So, you can also use the none, but for the none, the dimensioning will not be that uh, fully accurate because you have no guide where is the point. So, for example, if I dimension anyhow, maybe something like this here, I can just do so, but it will not be that accurate to this point. Unlike for the perpendicular, as long as I have, for example, I'm dimensioning this, this length here, for perpendicular, measure point to point, and then perpendicular, I can just simply click this face, one, and then click again, because the first one, you are setting that this is my reference area, the vertical area that I want to have. Then I click the second one, so that it will recognize that this is my first point. Then where is my second point? It's, let's say, for example, on this area. So it will dimension perpendicularly to that point. So I can have this kind of dimensioning. Any question? For the locking of dimension, locking of axis? Mr. Wilson, did I answer your question? So this one is easy because I have two parallel face, so I can just... Uh, clear the dimensioning before I proceed because I need to command again the point to point and the perpendicular I need to set that this is my reference and then I click here so this one is easy because it's directly perpendicular to each other actually main, main, main navigation is basically like that so you just have to work on the sectioning tools move rotate and scale and then, uh, simple navigation, walk, look, full navigation wheel, and the save viewpoint. That's the most important one because we, you need to save your, your view to, the, to your, uh, for you to be able to, to easily navigate throughout the project. I think that should be it because mainly of the navigation is only like that. Any question? So far, no question. Mm. So it's easy, right, Chinui? <laughs> so that, uh, I think it, because you are using the Davis Work Manage, right? Mm. So a lot of functions you are showing us is not available for the Navis Work Freedom. Mm. Navis Work Freedom is too basic. <laughs> I don't know if I have freedom here. I I have freedom. Yeah, so but like what you say, all those uh, locking, uh, all this, we, we don't have it. Ah, the locking don't have? Yeah. Oh, what do you have here? From measure point to point? I can show you what is under my sure, sure. review tab. Uh, I wanted to do. <laughs> That's the problem. <laughs> you still have the lock. You can try to select the, the measure first, point to point. Is it the lock has been toggled? Ah, uh, yes. When you drop down, what are the ones from the choices? Yeah, X axis, Y axis, Z axis. Yeah. Perpendicular. Yeah. So that's it. You just have to toggle first the point to point before it will be on. Thank you very much. Okay. So I think that, that that will conclude our session. In any question, you just drop me a message. We can always, I, I will be online. So you just let me know. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Maki. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. So if you like the content of this lecture series, please click the like button and share it with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe and click that bell button for more of this lecture series. Talk to you soon!